Hello friends, today let's look at the algorithm for populating the next right pointers in a binary tree. So the problem statement is, we are given a binary tree and we have to populate next right pointer of each node with its right neighbor node if there exists one. For example, if this is the given tree, then as you can observe, for node 0, there is no right neighbor to it therefore its next right pointer will be null for node 1 though its right neighbor node is node 2 and therefore right next pointer for node 1 will point to node 2 right similarly right next pointer for node 3 will point to node 5 and for node 5 right next pointer will point to node 6 overall the modified tree after populating the next right pointer of each node will look like this now let's try to solve this problem. So one of the simple approaches that we can use is we can use level order traversal where at each level we connect the previously visited node to the current node. So at level 0 there is only one node that is node 0. We don't need to do anything because this is the only node at this level. At level 1 node 1 is the first node that we will visit. So we don't do anything when we are at node 1. When we visit this node 2, note that the previously visited node at level 1 was node 1 and therefore we connect the previously visited node to the current node. Current node is node 2 and we connect it to the previously visited node. This is the next right pointer for node 1. Now at level 2, node 3 is the first visited node therefore we don't do anything when we visit node 5 the previously visited node is node 3 we connect that node to current node by using next right pointer similarly we connect node 5 to node 6 and so on so using level order traversal for populating next right pointers is a very simple and intuitive approach let's look at an interesting approach which makes use of pre-order traversal for solving the same problem. In this algorithm, the subroutine populate next right pointer is a recursive subroutine which takes argument as node n and the steps of this subroutine are if n is leaf node or null node then simply return. So this step number 1 is base case for this recursion. Step number 2 of this algorithm is that populate next right pointers of child nodes of node n. For doing this we are going to use this particular rule. Now in step number 3 we make a recursive call populate next right pointer with argument as n dot right. This recursive call is for populating the next right pointers in the right subtree for node n and in step number 4 we again make a recursive call to populate next right pointers in the left subtree. Note that we are first populating the right pointers in the right subtree before that of left subtree. This particular order is very important. I will be explaining as to why do we need to maintain this order in the subsequent explanation. Let's try to understand the intuition behind this algorithm by using this particular example. We will try to run these steps for this particular tree. The execution of this algorithm starts from root node which is node 0 in this case. So the very first call to this subroutine that is populate next right pointer is made with its argument as node 0. The first step in this algorithm is we check if n is leaf or null. Node 0 is neither therefore the first step will have no effect. Note that this is the base case for this recursive algorithm. In the second step, we populate next right pointers of child nodes of node n by using this rule. In the second step, we need to populate next right pointers of child node of node 0. The rule says that if both children are present, connect left child to right child. Connect left child to right child. The left child is node 1 and right child is node 2. 
so we connect left child to right child and use neighbor chain of current node current node is node 0 to connect right child to its neighbor to connect right child to its neighbor we need to use neighbor chain of current node right let's first define the term neighbor node and neighbor chain let's say that node n ones next right pointer points to node n2 and for n2 the next right pointer points to node n3 in this case we say that node n3 is neighbor node for node n2 and node n2 is neighbor node for node n1 the chain that is formed by this right pointers is called the neighbor chain and for node n1 the neighbor chain consists of node n2 and n3 for node n2 the neighbor chain consists of node n3 and for node n3 neighbor chain is empty having defined this neighbor chain let's go back to step number two where we need to populate the neighbor of node 2 now as you can observe the neighbor chain for node 0 is empty therefore the neighbor node of node 2 is null and the next right pointer will also be null so overall the step 2 had the effect of populating the right pointer of node 1 with node 2 in step number 3 of this algorithm we make a recursive call to populate next right pointers in the right subtree the right subtree starts from node 2 right because the current node is node 0 so this is a recursive call where the current node now becomes node 2 right again the first step will have no effect because this is the base case in the second step we need to populate next right pointers of child nodes the current node is now node 2 and very similar to previous recursive call node 5's next right pointer will be populated with node 6 and node 6 next right pointer will be kept as null so execution of step number 2 is complete now in step number 3 we again make a recursive call to populate next right pointers in the right subtree this is a recursive call where the right subtree now will start from node 6 will start from node 6 right in this particular recursive call the first step is that we check if it is the leaf node or null node it is not therefore this will have no effect in step number 2 we populate next right pointers of child nodes current node is node 6 as similar to the previous recursive calls 7's next right pointer will be populated with node 8 right and 8's next right pointer will be kept as null in step number 3 we make a recursive call we make a recursive call with current node as 8 right so current node is now node 8 here in the first step we check if it is a leaf node or null node note that node 8 is now leaf node therefore we simply return so we simply return from this recursive call here right now resuming back the execution when the current node was node 6 the fourth step is populate next right pointers for the left subtree note that current node is now node 6 we make a recursive call with node as node 7 right because the left subtree for node 6 starts from node 7 in step number 4 which is a recursive call with current node as node 7 the first step checks if node 7 is leaf node or null node node 7 is leaf node therefore will simply return from the first step itself so this call is also returned here right note that for current node 6 all the four steps of the algorithm are executed and therefore this will return here right because the recursive call was made from current node as 2 now when it resumes the execution at the point where the current node was node 2 the fourth step is executed where we again make a recursive call for the left subtree left subtree starts from node 5 right left subtree starts from node 5 i'll erase the recursive calls which are completed for more clarity so we are currently in a recursive call where 
current node is node 5 current node is node 5 right in the first step of this algorithm we check if the current node is leaf node or null node note that node 5 is leaf node therefore in the first step itself this particular call sequence is terminated and we return the control here right note that now for node 2 as well all the four steps of the algorithm are completed and therefore it will return the control here right now for current node at 0 the fourth step is executed where we make a recursive call for the left subtree right for the left subtree which starts from node 1 I'll again erase the recursive calls which are completed now we are basically executing step number 4 where the current node is node 1 right this is for populating next right pointers for subtree rooted at node 1 note that the current state of the tree is that node 1's next right pointer points to node 2 node 5's next right pointer points to node 6 and node 7's next right pointer points to node 8 this arrow does not indicate the next right pointer i'll erase this for more clarity so let's resume the execution when the current node is node 1 here in step number 1 we check for the base case which is not true in the step number 2 we populate next right pointer of child nodes of node n the child node of current node current node is node 1 is node 3 right we make use of this particular rule because both children are not present for current node we jump to else case where if only one child is present use neighbor chain of current node which is node 1 to connect child node to its neighbor node the child node is node 3 right we need to connect to its neighbor node how do we do that we use neighbor chain of current node current node is node 1 the neighbor node for node 1 is node 2 and node 2's left child that is node 5 should be the next right pointer for node 3 therefore if we use this particular path we can get the preference or pointer to node 5 and once we get that we can simply make node 3 point to node 5 right notice how we have used the neighbor chain of node 1 here because we had already populated the next right pointer or the neighbor node for node 1 we are in a position to get the reference to node 5 using neighbor chain of node 1 so overall the effect of step number 2 is that we have populated the next right pointer of node 3 with node 5 we have used neighbor chain here right neighbor chain now in step number 3 we again make a recursive call for populating the right pointers in the right subtree right subtree is null right n is null so n is null the first step that is the base case comes into play where we simply return from this particular call we simply return in step number 4 a recursive call is made for populating next right pointers in the left subtree which starts from node 3 right which starts from node 3 now here the first step will have no effect because it is neither a leaf nor null node in the second step we need to populate next right pointers of child nodes of node n node n is now node 3 child node is node 9 because the current node has only one child for populating right pointers of child nodes we jump to else case where we use neighbor chain of current node to connect child node to its neighbor node let's try to follow the neighbor chain of node 3 which is current node the immediate neighbor of node 3 is node 5 both children are absent in case of node 5 therefore we go to next node in the neighbor chain which is node 6 we get the reference to its left child that is node 7 because node 7 is going to be the right pointer for node 9 right and therefore in the neighbor chain of node 3 we have basically taken this path node 3 to node 5 5 to 6 and 6 to 7 right for obtaining the reference or pointer to node 7 and once we get this pointer 
we simply make the next right pointer of node 9 to point to node 7 right so remember that in the current execution sequence the current node is node 3 where we are basically executing step number 2 the effect of step number 2 was that right pointer of node 9 was populated with node 7 now the third step is a recursive step where we call populate next right pointer for right subtree of node 3 this is null so n is null which will be simply returned i am not going to write it again in step number 4 we make a recursive call for populating next right pointers for the left subtree so left subtree starts from node 9 right and because node 9 is a leaf node this will be returned immediately in this way we have completed the recursive call sequence when the current node is node 3 after execution of this recursive call sequence for current node as 3 the control will be returned here right now note that all the four steps with current node as node 1 are also completed let me erase the recursive call sequence which are completed now note that in the recursive call sequence that I just erased, we have completed the call sequence where the current node was node 1 and that call was made from this particular point, right? So the control will be returned here where the current node was node 0, that is the first recursive call we made and all the four steps of this algorithm are also completed which essentially completes the execution of this algorithm after the execution of this algorithm all the next right pointers are populated correctly now one point that i forgot to explain was that we are populating the right subtree first before that of left subtree so recall that when we were at node 3 in step number 2 we need to populate the right pointer of node 9 right and for that we use the neighbor chain of node 3 neighbor chain of node 3 now because we had already populated the right pointers in the right subtree we were able to obtain the reference to node 7 by following the neighbor chain of node 3 so in general to be able to follow the neighbor chain completely we need to populate the next right pointers in the right subtree before that of left subtree i hope the intuition behind this algorithm is clear now the time complexity of this algorithm is order of n because this is essentially a pre-order traversal and the space complexity of this algorithm is also order of n. You can check out the web post which has got the complete implementation of this algorithm on our website www.idesire.co.in. If you have any queries or feedback, please leave us a comment below. Thank you and cheers.